Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first annual Philanthropy Initiative Program at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. To begin our program, please welcome the 13th Secretary of the Smithsonian Institution, Secretary David J. Scorton. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Smithsonian Institution and to your National Museum of American History. I want to thank John Gray, the director of this magnificent museum, and his team for helping to organize today's program, The Power of Giving, Philanthropy's Impact on American Life. Recently, I was discussing philanthropy over lunch with a colleague from Europe. He noted how relatively difficult it is in Europe to raise private funding for the types of projects we have come to anticipate philanthropy will support. By dessert, we agreed that the expansive, active, results-driven philanthropy is a particularly American innovation, a philanthropy that reflects the core values and character of this nation. America, as you know, was created as a nation with limited government. The responsibilities of the federal government were enumerated in the Constitution. Any power or responsibility not explicitly identified was retained by the people. Consequently, in contrast to some of the monarchies of Europe and from the very beginning, Americans did not rely on the government or a state-established church to solve all of society's problems. Instead, this predisposition prompted Americans to develop both an active philanthropy and the concept of the public-private partnership, two very powerful forces for change that I believe continue to shape our nation today. As a people, we have long recognized that we have a shared responsibility to do what the government could not, would not, or indeed, as our founders believed, should not do, at least not in its entirety. Philanthropy has helped nurture the seeds of the American can-do spirit. We see a problem, we get together as a community or a people to try to solve it ourselves without looking to government to do it all. Our collective responsibility, as Theodore Roosevelt called it, is most often directed at advancing what we've all come to term the common good and not as simple charity. American philanthropy is oriented toward benefiting all. By untethering our goals for society from complete reliance on government, philanthropy can focus Americans' attention and private resources on, as our guest speaker, Professor Zunz, has noted, an unlimited and ultimately democratic agenda. We have all seen the impact of this uniquely American phenomenon in areas that may not have flourished had our expectations of government been different. Philanthropy helped guide the development of the performing arts in America. The private and public higher education systems in this country are deeply indebted to philanthropy. Because of philanthropy, faith-based institutions thrive. And looking ahead realistically, I believe that the dependence of all of these on philanthropy will only increase. An American philanthropy recognizes no borders in defining the common good. We support international aid of a variety of orientations, including one that I'm most familiar with, improving agriculture and combating diseases like malaria, which is on the verge of eradication due to visionary philanthropists like Bill and Melinda Gates, whose foundation has partnered with the U.S. Agency for International Development, the World Health Organization, and our Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and other U.S. and non-governmental organizations to combat an age-old universal scourge. In my medical role, I saw evidence of this when seeing patients in Africa. We all benefit from a malaria-free world. With this as one example of a type of active involvement, we should not be surprised that Americans see philanthropy as a way to participate in the national discourse on important issues like immigration, diversity, economic opportunity, environmental protection, and social justice. 
We listen and hear the collective voice of Americans through their philanthropy in these areas. And as society evolves, philanthropy both reflects and to a large extent stewards that evolution. In new ways, 21st century philanthropy is influencing the way we address problems through venture philanthropy, public-private partnerships, and increasingly grassroots opportunities like Kickstarter and, of course, today, Giving Tuesday. In the end, when we contemplate today what is the power of giving, history will help us perhaps to answer that question. The power of giving is the power to shape a nation. And so far, I believe we've become step by step a better nation and people because of it. With the launch of the Philanthropy Initiative, the Smithsonian and the National Museum of American History are providing some long overdue recognition that the American narrative is not complete without the contributions philanthropy has made to our country. I look forward to today's discussions. I appreciate so much your being here and everything that each of you and all of you do, and I thank you.